Hello sports fans and Stratomatic football fans particularly for this video. Um, today I'm going to discuss some ideas I have for modifying the basic game to, um, I don't want to say make it more realistic. I don't think the realism would change that much, but you know, after you have viewed the video, leave a comment below. Let me know if you've thought about doing anything like that or um, whether you have actually done something similar. So anyway, the premise of this is that one of the knocks on Stratomatic football is um, that the results, or the elementary game, I don't really, I haven't played the uh, advanced game or the super advanced or whatever, so I don't really know much about that, but the elementary game. One of the knocks on the elementary game is that when uh, on the defensive cards, the results never change. For instance, if you have a uh, short pass result of 13 yards at nine, every time you roll nine, it's gonna be 13 yards. That will never change, it's always 13 yards. Um, and so that's been one of the knocks on the game. Um, and one of the, I don't know if I've seen anybody specifically say this, but in the elementary version also, um, those results don't differ whether you're right or wrong. If you guess, if somebody is running the ball and you guess correctly as the defense that they are running the ball, and then they roll on your line buck, or let's say your end run. They roll on your end run um, card, and they roll three, it's a short game. Didn't matter that you were right. So, um, you know, those are just a couple of the idiosyncrasies about the game that I've noticed as I have played my Sportsman Z Football League, which, by the way, you should go check out. So I have an idea for modifying the game, and this is this goes beyond house rules. This is way beyond just house rules. This is modify, actually modifying the cards and modifying the game to make it more to your liking and to make differences um, and different results, uh, particularly. So um, in, those, uh, in those instances where you have a number, in some cases, 12 yards, 13 yards, or you have a receiver catching the pass and, you know, he catches it for 15 yards and eight, my uh, system would allow for, the, for different results on the same rolls later in the game. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at three defenses um, from the 2008 football set. One is a very good defense, the Miami defense. It was good against the run, good against the pass. Um, you know, or excellent or whatever, but it was better than average against the run and the pass. Then we're going to look at a defense, um, I believe the um, Houston defense, I think that was uh, average against um, one or the other, and then they were very poor against the other. And then we're gonna look at a defense that was just very poor against both. And we're gonna look at how I treat those differently and how my ideas manifest themselves in changes that you would actually make to the cards. So with that having been said, let's get into that. All right, the first uh, defense we're going to look at is the Miami defense uh, because they were good to excellent and average to good against passes. And so they're in the good range on both. And so how I would go about modifying them is if you look at the um, if you look at the runs, they're good to excellent against the runs and you look at the run card line bucking off tackle. And you can see, and I apologize, this might be a little blurry um, if you, depending on how you're viewing it, but you can see that I have in parentheses uh, different numbers than what the actual numbers are. For instance, on line buck six, 
The actual number is a plus five, and I wrote in parentheses plus one. And for uh, line buck 10, the actual number is a, um, a plus one, and I wrote negative two. And so, and then I've got an asterisk down at the bottom that says use the result in parenthesis when the defense is right. So, in other words, um, if you roll a line buck six and you guessed it correctly, instead of five yards, the offense would get one. And so, um, that's you can see the same thing with the off tackle um, with the off tackle at four you've got an original result of plus seven and I had plus five and uh, at seven you had zero yards originally and I wrote negative one same concept if you were right the number in parenthesis is what would be used and you would, um, and these numbers are better because the defense is is uh, good to excellent against runs. Now against passes, they're average to good. So I didn't modify the short pass at all. That's up to you. If you uh, think average to good warrants, um, you know, multiple uh, adjustments or an adjustment to short pass and long pass and flat pass then that's your prerogative. I only chose to uh, modify the long pass because they're average to good. They're not quite all the way good and they're not good to excellent. <clears throat> and I modified that by um, doing the, um, the 20 sider dice next to receiver. And so what that means is whatever the receiver result would be, what I would do is uh, roll a 20-sided dice and then subtract that amount from what he got. So if on a long pass, the receiver gets 55 yards, if Miami's defense guessed correctly, it would actually only be 35 yards. The modifier would be, um, if you rolled a 20, it would be uh, only 35 yards. If you rolled a 10, it would only be 45 yards and so forth. If you roll a one, then, you know, it's only uh, 40, 54 yards. But anyway, the idea being that because they are good to excellent, because they are better than average or because they're average to good and they're better than average, they will modify the result in a positive way for them if they guess correctly. And so now let's look at the other some other defenses that aren't as good and aren't Miami's defense. Okay, so now next we're doing the San Francisco D. Now, um, this actually this one is blurrier even than the Miami one was. I apologize for that. But uh, I can still walk you through it and you can kind of get the same, you know, the idea that I'm talking about. Now, the reason that I'm doing the San Francisco D is because they are very poor against passes and they are average against runs. And what's important here is that for a defense that's average, I will not modify their results at all. So you can see against runs, they're average. And you can see right there up at the top, the line buck and off tackle are in the middle, the run cards in the middle. And you can see that I have no modifications at all because they are average against the run. Um, the same thing for the end run, that's the card on the end. It's got end run and flat pass. And you can see I did not modify the end run at all. Again, because they're average against runs. And so we'll just go with the card result straight up when a defense is average against a pass or the run. But against passes, they are very poor. And that's even worse that's like the worst you can get, I think, uh, is very poor. So as you can see against flat pass, I modify the flat pass. Um, you can't see it very well, but uh, on flat pass 11, the original result was negative one, and I say roll a 20-sider. So what you would do in that situation is um, if the same, and again, and now this is the opposite. If the San Francisco defense is wrong, you would use this result. If they're correct, you would use the, um, the same result that they have on the card. 
So if you roll flat pass 11 and you are not looking for the pass, uh, instead of negative one, you would roll a 20-sided dice and then you would add the result of the 20-sided dice to the negative one. So if the 20-sided, you roll the 20-sided dice, it comes up five, then it's really uh, plus four yards instead of negative one. I did a similar thing with the long and short pass, although you can see as opposed to um, Miami, and as you'll see um, coming up also with Houston, I do modify the long and the short because they are very poor. They're all the way down at the end of the scale. So um, I actually put two modifications in long pass and one in short. For the short pass um, at nine, you have receiver and I say roll the 20 sided dice. So if San Francisco was wrong, and again, this is important, you modify it um, adversely for bad defenses, you modify it in a positive manner for good defenses. So if the receiver, uh, if it comes up receiver and the receiver um, gets 15 yards on their card on the short pass, you would roll the 20-sided dice and then you would add that result, the result of the 20-sided die roll to the 15 yards. Um, and the same thing can be said um, of the long pass. I've got two receivers that I modify there. Um, one is at eight and one is at 10. It's the same thing. Whatever the receiver's card comes up um, with the result, you add the, you roll the 20 sided dice and you add it. Now, uh, one thing that I would say though, is in the case of the receivers, because there's gonna be other times when I'll result I'll modify an actual result like a plus 15 or something but in the case where I'm modifying the receivers if the receiver comes up and it's incomplete I would say just keep it incomplete because you don't want to go too far the other way and say that even on incomplete passes it was actually complete because then you're really getting into the um, area where you're going to have like a team scoring 55 and 60 points against San Francisco. So I think if the receiver's card says it was incomplete, you just keep it incomplete. All right, so now here we have the Houston defense um, and they were average to poor and uh, very poor. And so their very poor applies the same way as the San Francisco very poor did you would add the results. And again, I'm just gonna quickly go through how I have added two to the short pass, two modifications to the long pass, and even I added a, a modification to the flat pass because they're very poor against the pass. And these again would add, so you would roll the 20-sided dice. So for instance, short pass at three, you've got a plus 14 original result. You roll the 20-sided dice, you add, the result of the 20-sided dice roll to 14 yards. So if you roll a 10, it's 24 yards. Now on the flat pass, you see I got a, it's a little different. It was incomplete and I actually say, no, it's a plus three, it's a completion for plus three, two to 10 and then incomplete 11 to 12. You can do that any way you want. You could you know, modify an actual result and make it larger you know, but you get the idea. They're very poor, so you want to add that. And again, in cases where they are um, guessing wrong, you punish them even more for guessing wrong on their defense because they were very poor. Now against uh, runs, they were average to poor, and you can see I even add yards for that. Um, on off tackle seven, they had a plus two yards. And I say that's plus five if they guess wrong. And you see on line buck 10, they had a plus one. And I say, no, this is plus four, assuming that they guess wrong. And the same thing, I did the same thing with end run at, up at um, three. They've got a plus uh, five or six. What is that? Uh, plus eight. They had a plus eight. And so I say plus 10 if they guess wrong. 
So again, the same idea, you punish the bad defenses even worse for being wrong with a variable amount of yards or results, and you reward the good defenses for being right with a variable result of less, fewer yards, or an incompletion or something um, when they're right. 